All right, guys, I'm here now, uh, just uh, about to show you how the program works. Uh, my car is currently off right now, but uh, the OVD right now was detected and it's actually running live. Uh, once it's plugged in, it already have read because I was driving already before it, and uh, it had read some of the information already about the car. And I do have some real time information available. So basically, when you want to see the gauges on, active all you have to do is press this button right here the real time information you tap it and you cut you can customize it to any gauge you like to see though and even download themes and plugins and whatever you would like to do with it so so far right now i have uh about four gauges uh, i'm gonna add some more though and um i'm just showing you here quickly the things that i'm mainly interested in to show or maybe basically to see and um, what I did here it's uh, how I added I basically tap the menu right here okay so then after we tap add and it's gonna give us a list of options here right so all you have to do is choose uh, wh whether uh, or how you like to see your gauges like it's either with needle by uh, meters, uh, dial meters, or half meter, whatever. It has tons of options, even bar display, digital, whatever you like. So in my my opinion, I mean, my decision actually, I, I would like to have a bar display in this case. So uh, I don't know if you can see well, but uh, the ones on green, maybe you'll be able to see once I scroll down. Okay, there you go. All right, so when the winds in green is the ones that are the sensors are active for my car, and uh, what this means is that the ones that are not highlighted as red. I mean, I'm sorry, green. It means that these uh, sensors are not like uh, it's not working for my car, meaning that it's not available. So as you scroll down, now we'll see more uh, options. And this means that the ones that, like I said, the ones that are available. So these are the ones that you want to enable because they're currently working for your car. And yes, it all depends the car you have as well. So let's say uh, I'll look for one that I'm interested in. Basically, um, let's say... Uh, We could check the. F Let's check the one of these uh, to make it quick. The engine colon. How about this one? And you could actually choose the size, but I'm gonna choose small. Small size gives me a decent uh, size. Okay, now, when this ball right here, you can just like hold it and drag it wherever you like. In my my case is right right here, which is perfect. So my current cooling right now is on 199 Fahrenheit. I just had my car on. And uh, yeah, so this gauge right here, I don't know if it's too clear enough. I'm sorry about my back camera. Um, this one tells me about the distance to empty. This one records the speed limit. I know I do have it on my dashboard, but I don't know. I guess I want some more gauges in it that I just choose to have it there as an option uh, RPM my needle or whatever my gauge doesn't really work properly so I do have it there that's just like it's a spare tool so it's it's useful and um, this one that gives me the miles per gallon and notice that there's actually two two uh, needles there if you see right here the ones in zero it means of course it, the car is off so of course it's not going to give me any miles per gallon but this is the one the longest one is the one that gives me the current uh, miles per gallon the small one means the ones that that give me they gave me the highest uh, miles per gallon so far the the, the last uh, highest basically that they gave me uh, the longest mile per gallon and of course the one we recently added her so I know it, it's it, it's a lot to do here and you can actually add some more gauges there if you like though uh, you get tons of options here and there and uh, you get the options of choosing a map uh, check the test results 
I don't have uh, GPS uh, hooked up right now, so I can't really tell. Um, okay, it's refreshing data right now to check the vehicle test results. So it's asking for uh, well, right now it's scanning the vehicle right now. It's I don't know how long it's gonna take. It so far is one percent, and show you quickly. I have my OBD plugged in already. It's flashing, means it's reading. Even the car is off, it still reads though. Okay, just showing you that I do have the, of course, obviously, you have to have the OBD uh, adapter in order like, for your car to uh, send the information so you can see what's going on here. Uh, okay, this is actually taking forever, so I can't do this right now. And yeah, it gives me all the options like about the adapter status, the get plugins, you know, uh, all the plugins on this app is available already, so you don't need to download it. Uh, if you tap the menu here, okay, you get go to settings, and you see that you you get the general preferences, right? You get themes, plugins, uh, units. This is basically, I suppose that you can convert units, uh, let's say kilometers to miles, and vice versa. Um, the OBD adapter settings, these settings right here, I want to show you quickly, guys. Um, let's say if you do purchase your OBD device um, you might want to choose this option right here the CBT alright so the CBT it's the option the, that you know when you plug it into your device it's not going to get detected right away uh, when you choose your Bluetooth device uh, if you having experience on um, connecting your uh, your device with the OBD adapter all you have to do is go to settings okay you gotta go to your wireless and network and of course you go you go to Bluetooth settings right and then you gotta find the CBT which is the uh, pretty much the uh, what you call it the uh, the Bluetooth device okay so you gotta like make it discoverable to make it work obviously when you connect that and you pair it all you have to do is uh, input the password which is one two three or zero 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 it depends on the adapter I don't know so uh, well the seller actually will tell you which one it is so unless he doesn't then but it's still given though by the the cell of torque or maybe the cell of the device whatever so uh, it's a really cool device and uh, I really haven't checked the OBD faults the the co fault codes yet because uh, since I haven't had any friends that have a car that has a check engine light on or my car so I haven't tested that out but I'm pretty sure it works because everything else it just worked beautifully so that's pretty much it guys so, so if you have any questions about this program and if you like to get to know uh, you know how to use it and and what what the benefits of this um, you know just let me know just leave a comment on the question below uh, and uh, I mean that's it guys so thanks for watching